There's an AI revolution going on in Drupal, and we're going to talk some more about it today. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. I've taught over 50,000 people how to use Drupal over the last about 13 years, and I can't tell you how excited I am to be in Drupal right now. Well, we've been in the middle of a bit of a series on AI and the new features coming. You should watch those videos. I'll link to them in the description below. Today, I just kind of want to do a little bit of a overview and a comparison of what's currently available in the dev. So now I'm recording this October 15th, 2024, just so you've got perspective. Let me show you what's available in the back end here. When you first install the AI module and turn a bunch of things on, if I click on extend and we go and take a look at AI, there's API Explorer, integration, content editing tools, core, ECA integration, if you have that external moderation, logging, translate validations, uh, automators, which are so much fun. Check out last week's video on that. And then you have to choose an uh, AI provider and of course, put in your credentials. Agents, assistant API, and more are also available, as well as an AI chatbot. Again, demonstrated that in the last video. Well, when you go to configuration and click on AI, there's just a whole bunch of things. Of course, you, again, need to update your provider settings. I'm using OpenAI for everything I'm doing. And one of the fun things here, beyond what we've already covered, is the AI API Explorer. Chat generation, text to image, text to speech, speech to text, embeddings, moderation, audio to audio, speech to speech. Anyway, you can see those on the screen. Now, not all of these are going to work with OpenAI. There are other providers you'll need to have specifically for some of the video ones. But let's just play with the text to speech one here for just a minute. Now, I'm going to compare this with ChatGPT 4.0 and see how this compares right here in Drupal. I'm using the DALI 3 model, which is part of ChatGPT, of course. Uh, we're going to paste in a prompt. The prompt is going to be, create a hero image for a blog post about riding a touring motorcycle like the 23 Honda Goldwing through the mountains. The subject should be male. He should be smiling and really enjoying himself. The image should be in a 16 by 9 format using a vivid style. Now, the whole style thing here doesn't need to be added in the Drupal chat because, well, that's down here. The really cool thing is if you have the media module installed, and well, who doesn't because you should, you can actually save this to media right on the fly. I'm going to click generate an image. Now, while that's generating, I'm going to come over here to ChatGPT. And you can see I kind of played with this a little bit. And what I ended up doing was the same prompt. And here you can see the output. Uh, this is definitely a Honda Goldwing. It's not a 2023. It's more like the 2018 version. I'll let it go with that. This again is a great representation of the Honda Goldwing. This guy's obviously smiling, having a great time in the mountains. Same here and the same here. You'll note I only added the vivid style here at the bottom to match what Drupal's going to output. So this is actually a really good picture. Kind of looks like me, don't you think? Okay, maybe not, but he's having a great time. He's on the road. He's on a Honda Goldwing. The fact that it's a 2018 model, that's okay. Well, let's go back and see what Drupal gave us. So this is actually pretty much the best one so far. I've tried this about eight times and that actually almost looks like a Goldwing. It's not. ChatGPT actually gave me a better Honda Goldwing, but that's still a pretty good touring motorcycle, and it does look a lot like a Goldwing, even though it's really not. He's on the mountains. He's having a great time, not wearing a helmet, but hey, maybe he's in Indiana or Ohio or some other place where they don't require you to wear a helmet. Either way, foolish, wear a helmet, kids. Anyway, this is pretty great. I'm going to head over to content and media. And as I mentioned, I've done this a few times. Here's another one that Drupal provided with pretty much the same input. And that one I didn't understand at all. That's just pretty terrible. But this last one was actually pretty good. Like I said, 
It mostly looks like a Goldwing, and he's obviously having a blast. Well, there's obviously a lot more to explore over here in the AI Explorer. Well, again, like how cool is this Drupal and AI just getting better every day? In fact, there was another video this morning just uploaded using AI to flag and screen content before it gets published to Drupal. I'll leave the link in the description below for that. That's a must watch as well. It's such a great time to be in Drupal. There are a lot of major Drupal events coming up in the near future. Here in the United States, NEDCamp is the next big Drupal camp. There'll be lots of AI chatter there, I'm sure. In fact, I'll be there as well if you're in the area. Hey, stop by and say hello. Well, this has been OS Tips from OS Training. Thanks for joining me today. Stay tuned for more Drupal and AI information. And of course, all the upcoming news with Drupal CMS, AKA Starshot as well. Pretty excited for what's coming there. Although a little bummed out, frankly, that Experience Builder won't be around anytime soon. Ah, that's all right. If you head over to ostraining.com, you can take a course on getting Drupal's Layout Builder working right now. Again, link in the description below.